Flavor Palm Beach returns to the beaches. We have special guest Rob Arnth, and we're going to talk about our favorite hangout spots. You're listening to the Local Music Show podcast. Oh, how fortunate we are to be listening to another week of the Local Music Show podcast, where brilliance is captured by these microphones and transmitted to you over the infinite airwaves directly to your attentive ears. I am Derek Diamante, along with the Ronda Legend and Jose Almonte. Fellas, what's happening? Hola. And here we are coming to you once again from the WPB HQ studios here in West Palm Beach, Florida. Local Music Show Podcast. We're here with Ken Urquhart, president of Highland Consultant Services, and we're talking payment processing. Ken? Since October of 2015, small to large businesses, restaurants to retail, merchants have been, let's say, managing their chargebacks. And I get it. The cost to implement the necessary requirements is oftentimes way more than the cost of managing these chargebacks month to month. Cardholders and issuing banks have become wise, and they know if you're still swiping, they will automatically win. Stop that nonsense and stop losing. Trust me, it won't cost as much as you think, and I'm no stranger to payment processing here locally. I have the right connections and the right processors for your business needs. Stop losing and start winning. We service restaurants, retail, e-commerce, high risk, and mobile merchants. We have got you covered. Give Ken a call at 561-704-3680 or you can find him on our sponsors page at localmusicshowpodcast.com. Highland Consultant Services is a local music show podcast approved business established in South Florida. 561-704-3680. And let him know you're a local music show podcast listener. Welcome to another episode of the Local Music Show Podcast Weekend Update for August 16th through the 19th. This week's featured venues are... Square Grouper in Jupiter, Matthews Brewing in Lake Worth, Two Georges in Boynton Beach, and Copper Blues in City Place. Tonight is open mic night at Matthews Brewing starting at 6.30. Also this evening you can see Odyssey at Square Grouper at 8 p.m. and Stereo Mix at Copper Blues at 8 p.m. Friday, 8.17. For tomorrow you can see Two Blind Mice at Two Georges at 5 p.m. The Bryce Allen Band is at Matthews Brewing, String Theory is at Square Grouper, and the Flyers are at Copper Blues. All shows are at 8 p.m. Saturday, the 18th, the Prosthetic Minds are at Two Georges and Boynton at 4 p.m. The Good Nicks and Friends of the Show are at Square Grouper at 8 p.m. The New Planets are at Matthews Brewing at 8 p.m. The Click is at Copper Blues at 8 p.m. And the Flyers and Friends of the Show are at Maxi's Lineup in Jupiter at 9 p.m. For Sunday, August 19th, Crazy Train Trio, Friends of the Show, well, they are the show. Deck 84 in Delray Beach, 2 p.m. 432 Vibes Duo is at Matthews Brewing starting at 2.30. Justin Enko and the PLDs is at Two Georges at 4 p.m. Kate Taranella's at Square Grouper in Jupiter at 7 p.m. And Jamie Rasso's at Copper Blues at 8 p.m. If you'd like to have your favorite band or venue added to the Local Music Show Weekend Update, contact us at the show guy at localmusicshowpodcast.com. Please be sure to check your calendar and check the band's sites as there is music throughout the weekend. There are afternoon gigs that you'll want to see. Not everything can be announced on our show. We try to announce all the primetime shows. For example, I'll give you Friday afternoon, 3 to 6 p.m. You can see Rob Arnth at Square Grouper, friend of the show. Please come out and see Rob solo 3 to 6 p.m. on Friday. And then stick around Friday at Square Grouper to see String Theory. Come out, see the band, buy us a beer, schmooze a little, rock on. Everyone, and here we are back at the Local Music Show podcast. Uh, we will have Rob Arnth, the soloist, coming up shortly. And uh, but I wanted to get in some local headlines. And uh, this month uh, we do have Flavor Palm Beach, September the first through the thirtieth. The entire month is going to uh, we're going to have pre fee menus for lunch and dinner. Participating restaurants from Jupiter all the way down to Boca. Participating restaurants will present a selection of specially priced three course meals for lunch and dinner. Dinners will be available. So choose from three choices of each course. And I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> We're never going to get through this episode, are we? <laughs> You're over there killing me. You're just looking across at me. You're killing me. <laughs> he looks like he's trying to squeeze a brace. <laughs> I was waiting for some feedback from our food, our local foodie. Yeah, he went too fast. He went too fast. Yeah, he's... All right, well, let me jump back into it. I, I, hope, so. I hope whatever the hell this uh, event is is a sponsor of ours because we're giving a lot of airtime. Yeah, we are. Well, it's going to have lunches uh, anywhere from 20 to $30 for dinner <laughs> and $45 per person is the range. What about it, Mr. Foodie? <laughs> what do you got to say? Are you or... giggling? Yeah, from 6 to 9, you mean? <laughs> Ron, the Ron, the legend just wants to know. No, he doesn't need to know. Hey, I need to know what's on the menu. Oh my goodness! Christmas. All right, well, uh, you guys will probably find this interesting. Uh, Alice in Chains is going to be down at the Hard Rock yes. Event Center. Uh, fantastic! One of my favorite bands of all time. Yep, for sure. Sunday, October twenty eighth in Hollywood, and tickets are already on sale. That's going to be fantastic. Do you think you'll be? Heading there or, 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 or... Oh, I'm in. You're in? Absolutely. Dude, it's it's, it's fantastic. I, I've seen them once and it was with a new singer. I forget his name. But he is awesome and William Duvall. Awesome. Hey, Derek, Derek, get the show guy yes. on that. William Duvall. William who Duvall. actually you remind me of a little bit. Really, yeah? Yeah. Now nah, that guy is, uh, is amazing. They did a good choice Is he there. a tall, handsome Hispanic guy? <laughs> yes, actually. <All> right. <laughs> Except he's got a big fro. Big fro. And then we're going to have a brew at the zoo, September 22nd at the Palm Beach Zoo. And I don't have any further details. I just figured since we like beer, we might uh, find it interesting. Giraffes on beer. <laughs> <laughs> the hell with those leaves. They're boycotting. I know it. So I uh, wanted to talk about some of our favorite uh, local waterfront hangouts. And um, I know some of our favorites. It's uh, Two Georges in Boynton is always a good place. And the one in Deerfield, too. We've spent a lot of time there. And um, <clears throat> Deck 84 in Delray. Fantastic place, man. I really, uh, the crowd there are really into it, and they really enjoy the music. And uh, I enjoy it, too. And then another one of our favorites that we've been at for years now is uh, we've been playing at is it Square Grouper in Jupiter. Which comes up a lot. Yes, it does. Which is fantastic. We love yeah. it there as well. Nice. You just have to be careful yeah, in uh, the summertime. Because <laughs> you might get rained out. Yeah, that was a real one, by the way. That wasn't the button, right? No, that wasn't the button. <laughs> Did something come up on that? One? <laughs> He's got nuggets at both ends. Oh, All right. And uh, what about Bradley's in West Palm? We haven't been there in a while, but it's still a cool place. Still a cool place. Yes, mm -hmm. right there on the waterfront. Indeed. And then another popular place that uh, that Rob is going to uh, probably going to mention is uh, Aruba's Beach Cafe in Lauderdale by the Sea. I think he's got a regular gig down there. Well, the Fish Depot is uh, it's one of our favorite spots, and it is a cool spot. It's just mm -hmm. unfortunate it's not on the water. Yeah, it's, it's on the railroad tracks. Oh, okay. Yeah, just that far away. <laughs> <laughs> the waterfront. I'm going to say Lulu's is one for Lauderdale. Yeah. That's Talk about a, waterfront. You know, that's interesting. That's you can another smell one. Smell the salt air the, from uh, there. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? You can smell the salt air from there. Exactly. You can get smacked by the salt air right there. Yeah. <laughs> Aruba is so good because it's literally on the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it really is. I literally. swear, my processor, I have to dust the sand off it. Because <laughs> people, like, it blows in. It's crazy, but it's. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, those are some of my favorite hangout spots. Well, you guys, um,. We will be right back. This is the Local Music Show podcast. If you'd like to be part of the conversation, or if you have a topic idea for the show, send it to us. Local Music Show Podcast at gmail.com. This is John, GM at Copper Blues, West Palm Beach. You're listening to the Local Music Show Podcast. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the studio. We have solo performer Rob Arendt, based out of Palm Beach County. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, thank you, boys. Appreciate being here. But you can catch him performing daily around Palm Beach and Broward counties. But did, did I interrupt your introduction? I'm sorry. No, you did not. Feel free to jump in anytime. I will. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm playing at Dunkin' Donuts this afternoon. <laughs> 
So now you guys know we always like talking about life on vacation, and uh, here in South Florida, this is the perfect example of that. Uh, Rob, I think you have an interesting story about how you decided to jump both feet first and start your life as a musician. As a musician. Well, um, you know, I've been playing guitar since I was 11, but through all that, I had to grow and get a lot of uh, a lot of on on the job training, I guess. You know, with. Mm-hmm. Music education was first, but I still wasn't any good, so I needed to get out there and start playing. But I, I managed the gym for about seven years and just realized, you know, when a few of my friends would hear me play, they were like, what are you doing, dude? So It's not that fun. You know, with, with the help of some friends that were patient to wait for rent, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and Judy Blem from Main Event Talent, which I will absolutely plug forever because I would not be doing this for a living if it wasn't right. for her. Um, and, uh, you know, with her throwing me literally into the water, she went, she heard me sing. I had a tape of me singing something and I was really not that good. She goes, oh, you're fine. <laughs> she goes, just get three, four hours of music together. And, uh, next Tuesday is your first show. I'm like, what? And I went from <laughs> never singing. I was a flamenco guitar player, uh-huh. you know, and I went from never singing to all of a sudden doing this singing four days a song. week. I lost my voice. Like people would, I call my friends and they're like, I'm like, Hey man, how you doing? I can't talk, you know? Oh, I had no voice because you go from uh, singing is like yelling, you know. Mm-hmm. So as it comes, you know, you really got to push some air, and right. it trashed my voice for a good couple of years, you know. And it's funny now, my voice is only rough when I take a break. Like I'm going on vacation tomorrow, hmm. so Thursday I'm going to suck because I haven't sung in a while, and it's like it's not it's not warm. Yeah. It's, it's not a muscle, crash, so yeah. It's a muscle. It's you a muscle keep going so, on it, yeah. Yeah, but now it's it's the most fulfilling career because especially this last year. For some reason, I feel like, I, I hate saying things that sound arrogant because I'm just not like that, but it's like, I feel like my whole game has come up a little bit, mm-hmm. and it's not really because of me. It's more on the lines of the crowds, the people that, you know, crowds make you better. People, fans, I hate saying fans, yeah. I say friends. Friends, right. friends make yep. you better, you know, and it's like, the only thing that I could say I really have improved with is putting together good sets, good song choices, so on and so forth, and that's what I think is elevated and when it's flowing really good then you just start playing amazing because the whole night's just going and the tips are flowing the people are mm-hmm. happy but the best part about my gig is when I'm on a break or when I'm breaking down and it takes me a half an hour just to start breaking down because mm-hmm. I'm shaking hands and hugging nice. and kissing people that are just like wow dude you know you just made my night you made my anniversary you made my birthday you made nice. everything it's just yeah. such an incredible thing and I get to do it every day. That's true. I get you know when you get those uh, those compliments where people say you know I was uh, actually or I was planning to be home by <coughs> ten o'clock tonight, but um, here I am and it's one o'clock yeah. in the morning. I'm still here. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, still here. I text I text my wife and I'm like, yeah, I'm just wonderful. getting ready to pack up. Now she knows by now that means all right, he'll either be on his way home in a half hour or an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. If it's yep. if I'm like, honey, it's been an amazing night. She goes, oh yeah, he's going to be an hour and a half trying to get right. out of there. But it's like. Who else goes to work? You see people go to work, they got it, bosses yelling at them, they got this right. and that. They run out of, it's five, they're out of 501. Right. You know, it's like, it, it, this is not a job. I haven't, I've been retired for like 18 years. You know? Can you, uh, can you talk a little bit more about the flamenco beginnings? Yeah, the, uh, the flamenco thing for me was the only way that I could get out, because I'm not a confident singer, you know. People are nice enough to compliment me on my voice and I appreciate it, but I, I, I'm a guitar player. You know, and I wanted, <laughs> when I was in college, I had aspirations to be, because I'm a big jazz guy. That's mm-hmm. what I, where, my, where I came from in college. And I wanted, yeah, to, I be the, I wanted to be the Kenny G <laughs> of, of guitar. <laughs> now, I know that sounds silly, but from the jazz thing that I came from, mm-hmm. all the jazz purists hated Kenny G because he's on the radio and he's selling out stadiums mm-hmm. playing right. da, 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 mm-hmm. you know what I mean and I'm like wait a minute so it's all about melody it's about simplicity and about people relating to the song and people being able to knock boots to it you know that's really what it was <laughs> right so I'm like I'm gonna do that and I literally have an, a, a CD that a few of my friends unfortunately have God bless them for listening to it <laughs> called, the, called The Inlet and it has there's three songs that it, you can take the guitar off and put sax and it's Kenny G Hmm. And then I realized there's no money in it. <laughs> you know, I, I you know, I sent, turns into I a little bit it, of a problem. Yeah, I sent it to my agent, and she goes, "I could book you once every couple of months, but that's about it." 
So uh, I'm like, all right, well, then what else can we do? It's not not. not. the flamenco somebody. stuff even now i'll do some flamenco at my gigs and everyone's like that dude was just playing can't you see now he's mm-hmm. playing otmar liebert and they're like what the hell so now i bring it out for like wow factor so you can mix right. it up a little oh, bit oh yeah good because in south florida there's a ton of solo musicians playing mm-hmm. there's not a lot of them that play their guitar right and that's the main reason that i'm as busy as i am thank god they're just available I'm, I go to the gig for one reason. That's to show off on guitar. Right. You know, and it's fun. I get to do it every day. And that's the best thing in the world. Well, that's the theme we have here at the Logo Music Show podcast about living life on vacation. Oh, yeah, I do. And uh, that you kind of you're kind of doing that. I live on a know? condo on, on the water. <laughs> I'm literally on vacation. I mean, you're you're living your life on vacation. Everybody else uh, yeah. wants to do what you're doing every day. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. I'm staying in a condo that I guarantee isn't as nice as mine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and and you're not leaving the state. And I'm not leaving the state either. <laughs> Welcome to South Florida, everybody. And if you're just joining us, we're here talking with Rob Arnth on the Local Music Show podcast. And uh, Rob, thanks for coming in. Thank you, man. I really enjoy. Yeah. I enjoy your format here. I enjoy the looseness of it, and uh, you got they're on the legend here, so well, I got to show up. What? Uh, what more could you ask for, right? <laughs> so let me ask you this: What's your favorite spot to play at right now? Oh man, I'm mean, putting you on so the spot. It, yeah. well, you got a lot to choose from. I'm going I'm yeah. to tell you this, and this is a, a wonderful thing to be able to say. Mm-hmm. There is not a gig, and it's taken me a long time to get to this point. There's not a day of the week that I don't get in my car and look forward to that gig I'm driving to. So you don't have a bad gig. I don't have a bad gig. Mm-hmm. And I have had, believe me, Ron knows. He's been friends with me for a while. He's, he's heard me going, oh, I don't want to go to this damn gig. You know, and it's not, it's not about not being grateful or not wanting to play. Mm-hmm. Right. But there's just certain places that I left a gig you know, a couple of months ago because it was like Groundhog Day. Right. Like every time you go in there, it's the same exact people in there. They want to hear the same songs at the same time. Wow. I'm telling you, at 9.15, I'm playing Long Train Running. At 9.20, I'm playing Heaven. It's like, <laughs> really? And if I don't play it, they're literally giving me the stink eye. I'm like, right. guys, can we... I got a new song. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to hear that. Well, at that point, you yeah. might as well just... Make but, a make a playlist and, exactly. and on a tablet yeah, and yeah, I could have record last just run with it. <laughs> record last week's show and just send it in. Yeah. Well, they're not asking for talent; they're just looking for somebody. To I would just I would say my my music. current favorite show of the week is the Wyndham in Deerfield Beach. Mm. Mm. All right. Because first of all, I'm staring at the beach the whole time. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Okay, but the cool thing about it it's the same it's same as Aruba's on Monday nights where I play. Mm-hmm. Is every time I go there, eighty percent of the crowd has never seen me before. So for someone like me who loves to show off, <laughs> it's like it check new this audience. out, right. and everyone's like, "That's cool." And it's like when I, it's hard for me to, it's hard to get out of that place because I got a whole bar full of people in hotel. People, I put a speaker outside. People come down from their rooms, nice, because they heard the music and they come in. And I mean, I never count on tips. I never expect a dime, but the tips there have been ridiculous because. I'm like making their vacation. You're on vacation. Mm-hmm. Right. You guys go and you hear right. this music sucks, that sucks. That band was good. And mm-hmm. gratefully for a lot of people, I've been, oh, you made our vacation. And that's just, that's such a cool thing. Man. Yeah, and they'll come back and they'll follow oh, you too. Yeah. And they'll say, hey, next time I'm coming to Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they'll yeah. say, hey, I'm coming to Florida in two weeks. So last, where are you playing? Yeah. At? Last Thursday, one of the coolest parts of the night, it was a couple that was married 57 years. Oh, wow. And I'm <laughs> playing Superstition. Right? I have a really cool track I just downloaded for that. And these people are just getting it. As nice. slow as they can, but man, they're up getting it, dude. They're, they're feeling it. Huh? But I played Wonderful Tonight, and they just, they dance, and everybody comes out. Like, you know, I, you I got better. those money songs that, you know, you pull out. That you have to play, yeah. And That's the two of them came up and gave me a big sweaty hug, and they're just like, oh, you just, we're just, 
you're, they go see music a lot, and they, you're, we've seen music every night this week, and we loved you and all that. Right. So that's and they'll just, be back next year. Yeah. I love going to work. Yeah, that's that's go, the cool man. thing. I hate leaving my beautiful year. wife, but I love going to work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm sappy, man. What do you want to do? You're Here, hold on. It, man. You're feeling it. That's all it is. Go for it. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, do you think we could get uh, Rob to do a quick little jam with us uh, yeah. while he's here in, mm-hmm. in the studio? Yeah, I think so. Let's do it. Um, can you give me a beer first, then? Sure. Yeah. Everybody, let's go. Let's get a beer real quick. We'll be right back. Sweet. Welcome to the Weekend Update Recap. We will be announcing shows from north to south, so pay attention. Square Grouper, on Friday, Odyssey, 8 p.m. On Saturday, The Good Nicks and Friends of the Show, 8 p.m. Sunday, Kate Taranella is at 7 p.m. All at Square Grouper this weekend. At Maxi's Lineup in Jupiter, on Saturday, you can see the Flyers at 9 p.m. At Copper Blues, beginning tonight, you can see Stereo Mix at 8 p.m. On Friday, you can see the Flyers. On Saturday, you can see The Click. And on Sunday, Jamie Rasso. All shows at 8 p.m. At Matthews Brewing, beginning tonight, open mic night, 6.30 p.m. For Friday, Bryce Allen Band, 8 p.m. Saturday, The New Planets at 8 p.m. Sunday, 432 Vibes Duo at 2.30 in the afternoon. At Two Georges this weekend, Friday, Two Blind Mice at 5 p.m. Saturday, The Prosthetic Minds begin at 4 p.m. And Sunday, Justin Enko and the PLDs are at Two Georges at 4 p.m. Two Georges is a great venue, supports all of our bands. Please come out and support Two Georges. Deck 84, Sunday, Crazy Train Trio. That's right, you can hear Derek Diamante, Jose Almonte, my co-host, along with Curtis Lewis, doing a trio show at Deck 84 in Delray beginning at 2 p.m. Don't miss that show. Come out and say hi to the Local Music Show podcast co-hosts. Have a beer with us, get some sunshine, get a view of the water, enjoy the rock and roll. back everybody to the local music show podcast we have rob arendt as a guest this afternoon hello hello and uh rob is going to play a little something for us this what do you a, got rob this is a fun song I, i've been blessed to play um conventions for this company called noble financial for the last 10 years and mm-hmm. they flew me out to lake las vegas and they wanted me to write a song and as i was going kevin the owner of the rum shack i told him i'm going to vegas he goes really and he hands me 100 bucks and he goes Go to one of the $25 slot machines and put this in and make me some money. And I lost it about <laughs> five minutes, so I wrote a song about it. Nice. And right. some other things that happened. So. Isn't it amazing what, what uh, sparks your inspiration? So, uh, so things that yeah. happen in Vegas don't stay in Vegas is what he's saying. No, this, is a little, this is an original song called Vegas. There's, he, he hired a girl to sing with me. She's basically a stripper. She wrote one line of this song. Okay. So, are we going to be able to tell which one it was? Uh, but she gets the whole thing. Well, she wrote the beginning of the second verse, so I'll give you that. Okay. So. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. I'm hanging out in Vegas. Gonna win me a little money. I was hanging out in Vegas. Boy said, win me some money too. I lost all the years and all my mind I had 
had a damn good time. Well, then I walked up in Vegas, had a cocktail for breakfast. They said nothing does just save us, but that cocktail for breakfast. Way less not sin. Let's see how much more trouble we can get in. Show podcast. Let's do another song if you don't mind. All right. Local music show in E. All right. Staple. Ladies and gentlemen, in the local music show podcast studio, we have with us Rob Warren. Everyone, give it up. I thank y'all, man. I had a good time. I enjoyed it. And we're going to fly you back to Florida now. 
And we want to thank everyone for spending your valuable time hanging out with us each week at the Local Music Show podcast. We cannot thank you enough for your support and your sincere dedication to the show, to our bands, and to our local hangout spots. Be sure to catch our roaming Local Music Show podcast microphones. It's a great way to get yourself heard on the show and instantly become popular among others. Interact with the show by emailing us at localmusicshowpodcast at gmail.com. Join the conversation on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Send us an email if you'd like to add to the conversation or if you have a show idea. We'll be back next week and we look forward to seeing you this weekend. I'm Derek Diamante for the Local Music Show Podcast, signing off. Have a great weekend, everyone. Mm-hmm.